Welcome to Drifter Guitars. My name is Chris. Behind the camera is Matt, as always. And today we're doing something super cool, I think. A few months ago, we did a review of the Stumac Diamond Cut Nut Files, and we're going to put a link to it right here. If you guys haven't seen that, check that one out. They actually mailed us those nut files, and they are very expensive. And a lot of people in the comment section said, well, what about the Music Nomad Diamond Files? So today what we're going to do is we're going to do a David versus Goliath head-to-head -head battle and see if those Music Nomad files that come in at $90 for a set of six versus $420 for a set of six, if they're worth it. And we have two title casters that we're getting ready to send out the door. Uh, and we figured this is a great opportunity. Why don't we do one of them with the Stumac files, the other one with the Music Nomad files, and we will just kind of let you know whether or not those Music Nomad ones are worth it. And on top of that, we're going to give these away to one of you guys. So if you're interested in getting this set of files, these are the Music Nomad diamond coated nut files. These are the set of six in the light gauge electric. Um, set and so if you want these comment below let us know why you want them and uh, we're going to do the giveaway on December 10th of 2021 so if you're watching this after that date uh, we've already given them away so it's no need yeah. <laughs> comment if you want yeah but comment and we also have an affiliate link below we are an Amazon affiliate uh, and so this link will be below and if you're interested in buying them uh, please use the link a little bit of that money gets kicked back to us and it just helps keep the lights on around here so with that we are gonna get at it. First of all, we're gonna do this first guitar with the Stumac files. Um, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do a full review of the files of these Stumac ones because once again, we do have that link. Um, and if you want to see how what we thought of these ones, uh, you can check that out. But what I, I just really want in this video kind of just give you an idea of whether or not those Music Nomad ones kind of cut as quickly, they work as nicely, they give me that same buttery feel that these ones that I love so much. And remember, Stumac, um, they support our channel quite a lot and they did give us these, um, but that doesn't mean that we are going to give them a pass at, by any means. Those Music Nomad ones we bought with our own money. And uh, we, wanna, we want to uh, make sure that you guys who are budding either guitar builders or just looking at just fixing your own guitars, can, uh, that we can present products to you that are much more affordable because we certainly don't expect you to go out there and spend you know four or $500 on some nut files if you're not gonna do this for a profession. So with that, let me just um, slot these this nut. Uh, we have already put the nut blank in. I've got it roughly shaped. I've even got the string spacing on it. And all I really need to do is just kind of notch these. Um, I'm not gonna get this guitar perfectly dialed in in this video. We wanna keep it short and sweet for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna put, uh, my opt optimizers. What is it? <laughs> Robots in disguise. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that on. And uh, yeah, we're putting um, light gauge strings on here. And so we're gonna go ahead and just knock those out. Just to kind of give a quick uh, cliff's notes of what I thought of these files. I thought that they were just friggin' awesome. I had been using um, just the standard Stumac nut files, the properly gauged nut files for years and years. Uh, and when Stumac reached out and said that they were willing to give us these files, I obviously was like, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> um, and they're, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve to using the diamond files because they, they actually cut so fast that I, I was actually cutting too deep on my nut slots, like, because it just burns through it really fast. But they, they're just so nice. These ones do have these wooden handles attached to that. I'm the wooden. <laughs> That's metal. <laughs> they have these metal handles that they sell along with them. Uh, seem like a little bit of a gimmick, but they're totally worth it. And I've actually added these little, uh, with our label maker, the gauge on them, just so that we're not having to fubble, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, read. No, <laughs> read. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Read. That's yeah, what we're yeah. looking for. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, they're they're marked, but the the markers are kind of small, and sometimes we're in a hurry. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It just makes it easier to find the size that you're looking for. So I'm just uh, just gonna knock these guys in here. Um, the other thing I do want to know is, like I said, these Stumac files do cost $420 for this set that you have here, but that does not include this actual um, black handle. I, I want to say those are like an additional five to ten dollars per per um, file. If you do this professionally, these files are totally worth it. Absolutely worth it. If you think about how much money you're going to make on doing setups, you probably pay for these. If you're a busy shop, you'll pay for these in, a, in less than a week. Um, buy them. Don't be uh, don't be sad about it. Uh, but, like I said, we know that most of you guys are looking to do this as kind of just a hobby, and you're not looking to spend that much money. 
I think so, the real question we're going to ask here is not whether they're going to be as good, but it's going to be, are they worth the difference in price? Are they I good think enough? that's the real, yeah. Are they good enough they for good the enough? price? Yeah. So, you know, I've used these many times since we did the initial video, and I'm just still in love with them. Uh, I have no complaints. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I ever would have pulled the trigger on these if Stumac hadn't given them to me. That's an interesting question. Would I have... I probably would have eventually. I'm one of these guys who likes nice tools, as many of you know. He says in front of his yeah. uh, Ridge City hand yeah. plates. Exactly. <laughs> Literally in the background. <laughs> now, with that said, had I had bought these, I'd be, I wouldn't regret it. And not one bit would I have regretted that I spent the money on these files. They're that good. They really, really are. Really nothing to see here. That was just me roughing them in and getting ready to do the string up on this guitar. I'm not even going to do that on camera. What I'm going to do is now move this aside just to kind of give me a feel for these. Did I like them? Yes. Check out the link to the video um, to see my actual full thoughts on these. Um, but what we're going to do is bring the other title caster over here and do the exact same thing and do a little bit more of a thorough explanation of those Music Nomad files. All right, guitar number two and our fret files here. Remember. We bought these straight from Amazon. These are the Music Nomad. These are part number MN667. They are the super light strings. I kind of messed up a little bit. I should have bought the set for just the light gauge electric strings, but that's okay. We'll make it work. And you can see how they show up to you. They come uh, for $90, you're going to get six files, and they even come with this nice little case. Um, something to be said about that. The Stumax do not come with a case. Uh, and if you don't have a label maker, I'm just now seeing this, it comes with little stickers that you can put on there. Uh, don't mind my dirty fingers, jeez. Uh, yeah. <laughs> these uh, you stickers you can put on there uh, so that you know what they are. And then we're going to pull these out. Uh, we'll save, we'll keep the box because like I said, we're doing the giveaway. We don't want to, we want to ship these to somebody. Uh, so what we have here is 10, 13, 17, 24, 32, and 42. Those are my, uh, what we've got here. And it looks like they're not all created equal. On the higher gauge or the thinner gauge strings are 280 grit. And then the uh, the thick gauge strings are 150 grit. And that's a nice touch. The Stumac ones are the same way. And that's so that you don't cut through super fast on the light gauge strings and then go super, super slow on the heavy gauge strings. It kind of keeps the same feel. But let's pull these things out and see what they look like. Um, keeping nice care of, of the, uh, the packaging. But so they're, they're a little different. Obviously, it's a whole different design here than the Stumac ones. We have these plastic handles with a much smaller section of diamond-coated metal. I don't really have much to say plus or minus on that. Um, I will say that the nice thing about it is that... Um, so, like, let's look at the... Uh, this is the 10,000, so you can see how... The reason you need this handle on the Stumac ones is because it's so wiggly. That's a technical term. Don't want to <laughs> would hate to bother you with the uh, with that. But with these ones, they're on this nice hard plastic, and even on your thinner gauge ones, it's held very stable, and that's a that's a cool thing. Um, you have a very beefy, thick piece of metal here that tapers down to ten thousandths, so it's very stiff and rigid here versus what you saw on that Stumac one, and that's really nice. Um, just my initial impressions. It seems really cool. Like I said, so you're gonna get all six of these. I think that you can probably, yeah, you can stack these guys up, put them inside of here. Um, and this case is gonna be large enough that you can buy another set if you'd like and still have room for them. Look at that, they fit in here really nicely. So that's kind of cool. And there's, you know, you've got this surface area here that you can put these stickers on here uh, to know what gauge um, you're using. They also have a hole inside of them so that you can hang them on your, um, your pegboard really nicely. So, so far, for $90, I mean, come on, these seem really nice. I will say what I'm noticing that might be our first issue versus these Stumac ones is that uh, it's it's really difficult. So let me grab this this 10 for the Stumac one. Uh, so I'm trying to notch this right where my pencil line is. I can see really clearly by kind of putting my head directly above it and looking down on it. Whereas on this one, because there's all this plastic in the way, it's kind of like I have to lay it on here like this and then rotate it up. And I, I can't really see, I kind of have to go to either side of it to see whether or not I'm on it. So that is one thing that makes the user experience slightly less uh, good. But let's try this, this is the 10,000s. Um, 
it feels very nice. <sighs> Tends to be when your first couple of strokes on diamond coated anything, it is a little bit more gritty. There's like some manufacturing diamonds, the industrial diamonds still stuck on it that's not perfect. But as soon as I did a couple of strokes, it sat really nicely. Um, on these ones, on the Stumac ones, I can actually come out of the slot too far and then come this way and then bang it onto the fretboard and mess it up, especially on like a maple fretboard like this. Whereas these, these Music Nomad ones, they, uh, it stops because of that plastic there and I can't do that. I actually can't go too far this way either because it, it stops in both directions. I don't know that that's why it's designed that way, but it makes it really nice. So I have to put it at an angle. Oop, oop. Yeah, I would say that the diamond coating on it is not as good as the Stumac one. It's a little bit crunchier feeling. It doesn't slide quite as smooth, but it's still very nice. Um, it's just not quite as good as the Stumac ones. There was the 17. Let's see what we got here. 24. I think you can hear it, how crunchy it sounds. I guess I should note these this is cattle bone, a cattle bone net, a bleached cattle bone net. So it's it's a hard material. This isn't plastic. I think this is a good real world test of whether or not it's any good or not. Oh boy. Hopefully I didn't go too deep on that. <laughs> uh, th these things cut fast, um, but I'm not having any issues like I anticipated. Um, I'm having to work around it, like I said, by like kind of putting it at an angle to get it on its spot and then straightening it out. Um, but it's not bothering me at all. It's not. It's not like a. I'm not noticing it as an issue. See that happened. It just kind of fell off because it's hard to see. All right, so what are my thoughts? Uh, I think that the reason we did this video, right, was to answer that question. Are these Music Nomad files for $90 worth what these Stumac ones are at 420? Are they just as good? Should I just get those? Well, I think the answer is uh, a yes, but no. Uh, if you're a professional luthier, if you do this for a living, if you have a repair shop, um, if you're thinking that you're going to do this for a living, I would still recommend the Stumac ones. These Music Nomad ones are fantastic. The biggest difference between the two, and this is a big one, is that the diamond coating on those Stumac files are significantly better. They just have a much better feel. Matt was saying uh, off camera there that the uh, when you lock those ones in, they just fit like butter. They, they track like a freight they, train. They track so good. Yeah, one, uh, one pull and you're in. Yeah, one push and they're just locked in and you're ready to go. And they don't you don't feel any of the grit at all. Uh, and you saw, I think, with these Music Nomad ones, even me, somebody who's incredibly experienced doing this, I fell off on the E and the A string because the grit on there is pretty inconsistent and it almost like bucked me out of the slot uh, and can cause some slight issues with nicking up the top of your nut there. But if you're a hobbyist, if you're looking to get into the hobby, or even if you're just a casual guitar builder or casual repair tech, I highly recommend these Music Nomad ones. For $90, uh, that, that, I mean, what, that's a quarter, not even a quarter of the cost of these Stumac ones, especially since you still have to add in the cost of the handles on these ones. Um, the really cool thing about these two is you get them for 90 bucks, you'll get a set of six. So you can buy them um, for whatever type of guitar you do, whether electric or acoustics, and then what kind of gauge of strings you want. And then for 16 or $17 per file, you can just buy individual ones and supplement this and build a set that works well for you. And probably be sub $120 probably for a set of eight of these things with shipping and everything. So they're not better than the Stumac ones. The Stumac ones are, in my opinion, far superior from a, uh, uh, a, a usage perspective. Uh, I like all of my tools. I want to be able to trust them with everything. I mean, these um, for my guitars, we're dealing with incredibly expensive instruments, and I need to be able to trust them and know that what I want the tool to do, it's going to do it. With these ones, there may be a little bit of guesswork still involved because they're just not quite as dialed in. But for $90, uh, I would I would happily use these on guitars every single day. Uh, I, I would know that there's maybe some chances of me messing up versus a Stumac one. So buy these Stumac ones still if you're a professional. You're gonna make your money back on these really quickly. Um, if you're a hobbyist and you're not making much money doing this, then buy these Music Nomad ones and you're not gonna be disappointed. So to sum it up, Stumac ones, still better. Music Nomad ones, 
good enough definitely good enough so buy them use the link that we have below if you're looking to buy these guys and we're still doing that giveaway between now and december 10th 2021 if you want to be a part of the giveaway just make sure that you like and subscribe and comment below but you have to be a subscriber if you want to get these and we're going to mail them directly to you with genuine driftwood guitars nut dust on there that sounds terrible that sounds terrible but you know what i mean <laughs> all right guys thanks a lot <laughs>